Good Sunday evening, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Honick. A few showers and thunderstorms earlier this evening, and a little bit more activity starting to pop up into parts of the Mid-South as we record this. We're going to be on a little bit late tonight. If you're tuning in about News Channel 3 at 10, the usual time, we're going to be on closer to 11 o'clock tonight, thanks to NFL football wandering on through the area for this evening, causing, again, things to be delayed by just a little bit. Quick check of your forecast for tonight. Numbers at the bread bar on the bottom of your screen. Back in the 50s in some areas tonight, and then back in the 70s for high temperatures tomorrow. Much more improved than what we have seen over the course of the last couple of days. Fog could be a bit of a problem into the morning hours. Some visibilities near or below 3 miles. Something we're going to be watching with a lot of interest into the overnight period. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Could be a lot worse when it comes to the heat and humidity, although not by much. We did manage to set a new record high today. We'll talk about that. We came with within six degrees of the high temperature for the country today. Death Valley, California was not much hotter than what it was like in the Mid-South area. No precipitation to report today. Dry for the month as well, behind by nearly two inches. We've only managed to score two-thirds of an inch of rainfall so far. Over a foot of rainfall for the year, but a very dry September out there. Here it is, the new record high, 98 degrees. 95 was the old one set back in 1931, so a very hot Hot day out there, 99 at the National Weather Service office in East Memphis around the Germantown area and Cordova. Rest of the evening, spotty showers and thunderstorms out across the area. Not seeing a lot of activity in the way of major problems out there into tomorrow morning, though. This could be something to take a look at as we see the possibility of showers and thunderstorms continuing to pop up in a line for parts of the Mid-South. That, again, could be a bit of a problem for the school bus riders and into tomorrow morning as well. Heading out into the rest of the day, we should be seeing, again, the possibility of these isolated showers and thunderstorms dwindling as we get out of the afternoon and into the evening hours. Clear skies for tomorrow afternoon and looking at winds out of the north, some very pleasant temperatures out there, and then much cooler into tomorrow night. Temperatures by News Channel 3 at 10 on Monday, back in the high 50s to the mid to upper 60s. So for tomorrow, temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Showers and thunderstorms possible through most of the day. An isolated shower or thunderstorm possible by the afternoon and evening hours. No rainfall. Plenty of sunshine. Cool day on Tuesday. Very dry. Very pleasant across the area. Going to rebound a bit into the lower 80s. This is about as typical as we can get for September temperatures for this time of the year. Mid to upper 70s to lower 80s throughout the rest of the week and into next weekend. Temperatures again back in the lower 80s there. And then back in the upper 70s to lower 80s throughout the rest of the four forecast as we head toward next week. Chances of showers and thunderstorms, we've gotten rid of them for now by the time we hit next Tuesday and Wednesday, but we will be watching that with a lot of interest across much of the area as we get into the course of the rest of the week. So be prepared again for the possibility of more showers and maybe thunderstorms way into the future. And some of that will have to do with the tropics, but right now we're just not seeing anything in the way of major problems from the tropics, which is definitely good news, but something we're going to need to keep an eye on, especially as we go into the next several days. Catch up with me on several different media outlets on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, just to name a few. Still trying to figure out Snapchat. And as we get into the rest of the forecast, we'll post those in, bits of information on there. I'll be on the EAB network for the weekends and also on the AM 730 radio for Bob and Josh tomorrow morning on Memphis in the Morning and Talk Back Live. And of course, Todd Demers will have a complete forecast coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Again, isolated showers and thunderstorms possible here and there. Otherwise, not looking at too much for right now, but the bus stop in the morning, you may need the umbrella for the kids and for yourself. So keep that in mind. A little bit of extra time to get to where you're going would not be such a bad idea. Questions, concerns, suggestions, if you've got them, let me know. Austin.onic at WRAG.com. And we'll have a complete check of your forecast again on weather overtime at WRAG.com slash weather and throughout the rest of the week as well. So stay tuned for more there. From the News Channel 3 Weather Center on the late edition of Weather Overtime, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the latest weather information in the Mid-South.